Capricorn, welcome back. This is going to be a reading for August 14th through the 20th, 2023. All materials solely formed for entertainment purposes only. Number tarot is a game. With that, Capricorn, let us begin. All right, Spirit is asking you to surrender. I feel like you do not have a choice here. Perhaps maybe even feeling like you are put up against the wall. Maybe things, uh, health, something health-wise. Asking you to slow down. Pisces energy here. The chariot still trying to make progress. Maybe there's something creative here. Morning glories are also significant in the morning time. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Time to get up. Perhaps there's like something too control of and you're like, I'm out. Can't hold me back. <laughs> Maybe uh, even afraid of commitment here. The six of sky. I feel like there's something that you're going to jump right on it. And it's whatever the situation that has already crossed your path. Rightfully so. With that six of sky, I see you coming in like, nah, I ain't having this. I ain't having this at all. This, this some bs so a little bit of truth coming at you quickly too perhaps you're going to need an advocate as well capricorn the priestess okay high priestess amethyst all around it uh very much taurus energy here the floating cat So there's, there's actually someone from your past coming in. You have a high priestess energy, Capricorn. Uh, Aries energy here. Perhaps uh, someone with green eyes. Psychic. Uh, definitely Aquarius in the chart here. Cancer. Moon. Uh, what I'm seeing... I'm just going to show you all the what I was seeing there. Aries, the sign of Aries. The amethyst protection. You've got Aquarius with the stars. Yeah, blah, blah. Um, morning glories are here as well, as you see. Let's show you all what I'm seeing. Somebody, something saying definitely surrender. It's going to give you a brain aneurysm. Um, or you're just going to just like, I'm out of here. Fuck. Call the dogs. I'm out. Leo energy under that Leo full moon. Six of sky, that Uranus rebel coming through. Woo. Ace of sky. I mean, this is a project. This is a project you can be going, uh, working on. Wheel of fortune. Working, making business actually work out in your favor. Everything. With your wish, wish just come true. As long as you just stay away from difficult people, <laughs> you'll be fine. Now, I, I'm pretty sure I dropped a card here, and I don't feel like this card is so good. So, I'm going to go ahead and scoot it back here. I don't like it at my feet. And I really don't like bending over, but we're going to have to grab this. What a most unfortunate position to be in. Well, not really. I'm back. <laughs> that was terrible. All right, so we have the demon cat. What did I just tell you? I didn't like that feeling at my feet, right? Look at that energy at my feet. Look, take a good look. That is not good. Anything else like that underneath here? Oh my. Mm -mm. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and... Um, look. Toxic waste toxicity i feel like spirit is really finished with a whole lot capricorn your energy here with demon cat i, I feel like there is no law if there's like no love there what you got nothing else is growing there you can't grow a plant it's not right <laughs> I feel like the, the wheel is here for you. The wheel of fortune is here for you here in the near future. You're just going to have to check back. 
Let's see. Uh, check back August 21st through the 27th. What can we do to free up some of that Capricorn energy? What can we do to free up some of that Capricorn energy here? Past trauma is stored in the body and can affect our patterns and behaviors. People with a difficult childhood or past trauma often have trouble balancing the third chakra. Therapy, support from loved ones, and other healthy activities can begin the path to healing and balancing the chakra. So basically, what's going on here, and Capricorn, your temper gets the best of you. And what you are doing is you're killing the peace. It's not working out. There's something here. It is the bird's laying on the ground and you got its wing wrapped behind its back pretty much. What you doing? Is this just your nature? Everything in its nature? So I, I feel like there's something inside of you that likes altercations or gets into them. And that's healing the solar plexus here. A lot of yellow energy, like I said, coming through as you call in the morning dogs to ride. Push and force progress. You know, Demon Cat here, which we'll talk about August 21st through the 27th, will also tell you here that this bird that's in this cat's paws belong to the sky and it belonged I don't know something's a little bit off there's a temper here watching this even envy jealousy a lot of stuff and uh, some of you have Scorpio, Libra in your chart, Cancer even in your chart, a lot of rebel energy. Remember as that full moon's in Leo, there's going to be that Mars and Uranus square that's going to form that loose grand trine in earth signs. Remember Mars and Uranus join forces again. The same day they pretty much square off with Taurus. So there's going to be, it's going to seem like there's a square off with, uh, with old Mars and, and uh, Aquarius. But the truth is, is they get right back together. How insane is that? So whatever is being pulled here in so many ways, well, like I said, we're going to have to wait. <laughs> um, really, Capricorn, I hope this helps. And yeah, subscribe to my channel. And for all those that have already subscribed, thank you so much. Till next time.